Hi guys, Angie here with Angie Makes. Today we're on PicMonkey.com. PicMonkey.com is a great free way to edit photos for your blog and I am a dedicated and devoted Photoshop user so it's been something that's been new for me to learn and I've just been messing around with it today and I feel like I'm already a pro. I can zoom around and do things really quickly, really easily. I can see why it's popular. So I'm just going to go ahead and click design and I didn't specify a size because what I'm going to do is I am going to open an image from my computer that I have already sized correctly. Now you can do this very quickly by just cropping and importing your photo and then saving it and then uploading it again. So it's kind of a two-step process if you want to do that. But again, I have already got this the size that I want it and made it into a square. So I'm happy with that. I've opened it here by clicking open. Now I want to make that a circle. And I'm going to come over here and click this frame. And this is a new feature called Shape Cutouts. And you can see as I click that, it already made my um, picture into a circle. And I can make it a square, a triangle, a star, and it is just automatically sort of cropping my image. Wow, okay, I really like this hexagon here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. I can adjust the size here. And this is cool, you can even rotate it by adjusting the angle um, and sliding it there, and of course, you can always make your image have a colored background. I think it's pretty good standard for blogs to keep it transparent. So I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna hit apply. And that has just confirmed that I want my picture in there and, and saved it like that. So now I wanna add a little bit more of a graphic to my sidebar image. So I'm gonna come over here to where this butterfly is. And this is sort of the magic in my opinion of PicMonkey is that you can add all these different overlays. There's geometric ones, there's hearts, I mean there's all kinds of just default fun options here. I'm going to hit undo several times because I don't want those because what I want to do is I want to upload my own and I've already got something here on my desktop, this little watercolor stroke that I really like and I've just inserted it very quickly and I'm able to even adjust the size here by dragging the arrows. I can rotate by holding on to this circle here and dragging as I click and then over here you can even adjust sort of the fade and that's cool because it gives it more of that true watercolor effect. Um, there's some blend modes, those are kind of Photoshop is famous for blend modes there. Um, I'm just going to keep it on normal. You can transpose your image here, or rotate it however you like and this is really cool. Of course you can change the color which is really nifty. I like that a lot. So I'm going to hit um, click off because I'm done with adjusting that. I like where it's at right now. And again, um, I have just uploaded my own. That's part of a clip art package actually that I have. And something that's important to note about overlays, you want it to be a ping image. If you were to try to overlay a JPEG image, for example, it would have a white box and that wouldn't look good. So always make sure you import a ping image for your overlays. Now, I just clicked on the text box here on the left because I wanted to add some text. Um, and by default, it's loading some pretty cool fonts, but again, I think the magic here is that I can click yours, and what it's going to do is it's automatically loading fonts that I have installed on my computer. So I've picked one here, and now I'm going to click Add Text to get it to propagate here on my image. And then I'm going to type my text. And now this is counterintuitive. You have to actually click off of it, drag it to where you want it. Then you can make your adjustments over here, like your size. And you can fade it. Again, you got your color options, which are cool. Okay, I like that. I'm dragging here. You can play with the blending modes, left, center, right, align. I kind of like it where it's at. I'm going to click off. Wow, okay, this is looking pretty good. So I'm ready to save this to my computer. I'm going to hit save, and there you go. I want to for sure save it um, as a ping. I don't know, JPEGs are okay, but again, that's going to save it with a white background. So if you adjust the colors to your blog in the future, you change the white background to a different background color, you're going to have that white box if you choose to save it as a JPEG. So saving mine as a ping, and I hope you enjoyed. That's how you're going to really quickly make an About Me image using PicMonkey.